Hello everyone. I hope you had a great time in the last week of 2021. Now it's time to pull up our socks. The party mode is over and let's walk through today's question. Today's question is find the town judge. Here in this question we are given a town and there are people labeled from 1 to n. There is a rumor that there exists a judge in this town and how do we define a judge? A, a judge is a person whom who trusts nobody in the town. Also everyone in the town trust the judge we need to identify if there exists such a person that satisfies both these conditions and for this we are given a trust array wherein each element of the trust array has two attributes the identifier for first person the identifier for the second person ai and a bi and it simply represents that the ai person trust the person labeled with bi index in case there is no town judge then we have to return minus 1 in those cases otherwise we have to return the identifier id of the town judge without much ado let's quickly walk through the presentation that i have created for this and i'll be talking about these examples in the ppt so let's quickly move on find the town judge lead code 997 it's an easy level question on lead code yet it is an interesting question so do have a look at the video till the end So let's hypothetically assume that there is a the input trust array is given to us as this. The first element is one comma two, the second element is four comma two, and the third element is three comma two. Also, I have written the de definition of judge here. The first attribute is the town judge trusts nobody, and all the people in the town trust the judge except the judge itself. So let's get started. Let's iterate through this entire array and let's try to build. the graphical representation of this trust array so let the first element is 1 comma 2 that simply means that the first uh, first person trusts the second person what we are going to do we'll create an edge starting from 1 ending at 2 let's move ahead next we have 4 comma 2 so we'll simply represent this by creating a new edge starting from the fourth index up till the second index next we have is 3 comma 2 we'll create a new edge starting from the third index and ending at the second index Now if i ask you a question can you conclude out of this graphical representation who is the town judge can you do this the answer is yes how so let's carefully visualize each of the node let's start with one so one is already trusting any other node that means the first condition is violated as it is stated that the town judge should not trust anyone in the town Let's walk through the fourth node. This one, it's also trusting the second node. So that simply means, uh, he the the this condition is violated. Let's proceed ahead. Again, the third node is trusting the second node. This condition is again violated. Now comes the most interesting part, the second node. Let's validate whether this condition is violated or not. We don't have any outgoing edge from second node. That means, this condition is. satisfied the second node doesn't trust anyone in the town now comes the other concern is everyone in the town trusting the town judge the answer is yes how can we identify this value we'll count the number of in degree incoming nodes at two and what are those what is that count one two and three we also are aware of how many folks are present in the town the value of n if the number of incoming edges happens to be equal to n minus 1 then we can say that second condition is also met and how can we graphically state the first condition there should be no outgoing edges from second node so this maps to there should be no outgoing edges no outgoing edges should be zero and this maps to incoming edges count incoming count should be equal to n minus 1 if these two conditions are met then we can simply say that the current node is acting as the town judge also in order to simplify i took a very simple array there could be more cases where we have more edges starting from this and ending at this so you can make this graph even more complex but this is the crux of the problem these two conditions should be satisfied in order to identify the judge appropriately So what we are going to do? We'll simply build in the in degree and the out degree for each person in the graph, and we'll exploit that in degree and the out degree array to find out 
whether these two conditions are met at a particular node or not. We will get to know more about it in the coding section. So let's quickly move on to the coding part. So here I have defined two arrays, in degree and out degree, and the size of this array happens to be equal to n plus one. Why n plus one? Because there are n people in the node, and the ID starts from one to n. That's why we have to take n plus one. Let's start the iteration. So we start over the trust array, and we appropriately build in the out degree for each person and the in degree for each person. Once we have done this, this is pretty simple and straightforward. You are just incrementing the in degree and out degrees. Uh, once we have done this, we iterate over the input again, starting from first node up till n node, and we check whether the out degree happens to be equal to zero and in degree at a particular index happens to be equal to n minus one. If these two conditions are met, we simply return the ith index. This happens to be the identifier for town judge. If it's not found, then we simply return minus one in those cases. Pretty simple and straightforward. Let's try this up. The time complexity of this approach is order of n, where n signifies the number of nodes present uh, in the town, and space complexity is again order of n. This brings me to the end of today's session. I hope you enjoyed it. Also, I hope you have seen this talk at Fang video. It's an awesome video. It's okay to miss out on few questions on a particular days if you are not feeling good. But the advice that you are going to get in that video. Is worth million dollars. So do have a look at it. It's gonna break your notions about me, uh, turning millionaires at fun. This brings me to the end of today's session. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for viewing it. Have a great day ahead, and stay tuned for more updates from Coding Decoded. I'll see you tomorrow with another fresh question. But till then, goodbye.